and today I would like to show my case myself Vietnamese banknotes. Mm -hmm. Don't they look pretty? The first lot of banknotes I'd like to show you the ones that come from 1955. Have a look. I don't have them all, but the first issue was this one down here, in which it comes in the 1, 5, 10, and 20 dong that were pretty similar to the Indo Chinese banknotes. And here I have it compared to the Lao 5 kip which is this one here. As you can see, they're most likely printed by the same company. The serial numbers are pretty much the same. The actual style is overall the same. And if you have a look at this one, this one was also issued in 1955. It was probably issued after the f these ones down the bottom. But I do not know and the information is conflicting. Okay, also issued was this 100 dong, as you can see, he has two prefixes, one with one letter and one with two letter, and on the back, oh fuck, that's shit, on the back has the phoenix, which would have come from Chinese mythology and adopted by Vietnam, as we know, Vietnam has adopted a lot of Chinese things, and this is just one of them. But yeah, this one shows a boat, and have a look at the fucker. Fuck, it's going fast. Fuck, yeah, fucking pump us up, pump it up. Let's go faster, bastards. Look, look at this poor cunt. It's fucking in water, and the cow's going to get the fuck off. I want to get out of here. Get me out of this fucking water. Even though I'm a water buffalo, I fucking hate it. Get me out. Oh, 50 dong. Oh look, she's feeding a cow. Mmm, this is dinner. Mmm, you're gonna be dinner. You're gonna be my bloody roast. Mm. Oh look at the two holes. Someone tried to shoot the cow. Bloody hell. Oh, isn't this cute? A couple. One holding some grain like it's a baby. And the other one holding a fork saying, Look at my fucking pitchfork, motherfucker. As you can see, the designs are great. Mm -hmm. These are printed in the United States. And they have no watermark. You can see the reverse of the 5 kip and the 5 dong are pretty much the same in design. Although they reflect the cultural values of the country. Oh, I like his hat. I want one. Fuck yeah. Okay, if you have a look at the others, this one is a guy, no idea what he's doing because the banknote is pretty stuffed, but it's probably has something to do with rice. Traditional housing, yeah. Another traditional house, oh yeah, and I like this one, this looks like a temple. No idea where it is though. Oh look, security banknote company, it's better all I can read on it. Oh, Moi Dong. Hai Dong, Nam Dong, Nam Moi Dong. All single. Colour. And beautiful. This is the watermark of the Stealth Vietnamese 5 Dong. Okay, moving along to the 60s. Here we have a 1 and 100 Dong. Okay, this one issued 1964, this one either issued 1960 or 1966, and this one issued 1966. As you can see, the 100 dong, this one is Li Van Doyet. Okay, this has been described as the National Library in Saigon. And if you can see the signatures, this guy was in power until about 1975. Then he probably ran away. Yeah, but I do not know who this, what this um, says or what it says. I don't speak Vietnamese. And this two are a consecutive pair. 
I've never actually come across any South Vietnamese uh, bundles of X pairs or something like that before. So this is the first one I've seen. And for a lot of people, first one you've seen. Okay. Here we have the reverse. Oh look, we have a tractor. And the one dong. Uh, some dam on the 100 dong of 1960. And we have the temple, which is the same temple that was on the 10 dong of 1955. But as you can see, the colours changed and there was no standard coloration for all banknotes in South Vietnam. And I presume that the counterfeiting by the North and China and Russia would have been quite high. Especially for these banknotes here, because they have fuck all security features. But at least this one has a security thread. And it has a watermark. If I bring it up, yep, the Van Doyet watermark, but also I have ones with a, a dragon on it as well. And if I show this one, this one has corn, uh, wheat. At least it's made that way. And this one, the one dong, has the same thing. This image. Also, he's included on the 1, 5 and 10 Dong or South Vietnam, on the coins I mean. Okay, so that is their reverses. Okay, here I have some banknotes from 1969 to 1971. 2050 Dong issued in 1969. 100, 200, 500 Dong issued in 1970. 1, 1971. This one has the National Bank building in Saigon. Mm. And the design is pretty abstract. Reverse has nothing at all discernible except for the writing and the number. Everything else is just abstract and quite easily printed. Okay, the watermark is Tran Hong Dao. And if you can see, that's him there. And it's on all of these banknotes here. Okay. The last issue of banknotes is these ones. It has Independence Palace of Saigon on the front, which is now a museum as far as I believe, but I have no idea. Okay, the reverse of these banknotes have different images apart from the preceding banknotes, which had nothing that was uh, discernible. This one has horses on the 50. And 100 water buffalo, 200 has deer. This is my favorite one. 500 has a tiger. Mm, looks beautiful. This grouse. And the 1000 has elephants that were used as pack animals. Okay, if you have a look at the watermark, it's just a South Vietnamese woman. I presume they would have used the model, but I have no idea who it is. You can see how the coloration has changed over time, especially for the 100. Okay, it, has, it was black, and then it went sort of like a brown, then a red. Then the last two issue in the 70s was the green. The 50 was pretty similar, purple, then it went to like a bluish green. The 200, yeah, like a brownish colour. 500, orange, orangey brown, 1000, yeah, like a bluish colour too. Okay. Now in 1966, this equaled one American dollar. In 1975, it was 500 to one American dollar. And 1975, the new banknotes were issued that were 
printed in 1966 and it was equal to one new dong equal to about 50 old dong okay this is reverse typical communist theme that is manufacturing this is agriculture and can't see any watermark on this although because it's beat up it probably does have one okay so i hope you like my presentation and i hope that you look at the other videos please like and subscribe and let me know what you think okay bye